Hi guys, Tech James here. In this video, I will show you guys the easiest way possible to set up the Citra 3DS emulator. So I will be using this on my Windows 10 PC. This does work on Linux and Mac as well, um, but I will be showing you how to do it for Windows in this video, and it's pretty much the same thing anyway. So what you guys want to do, once you're on the Citra website, I will leave a link to it in the description, is just go up to the top and just click on the download section. Now it's going to automatically detect your PC. As you can see, it has detected mine as Windows. So once that is finished all you want to do is just click download for Windows x64 or whatever your system is so just click on the orange download button so once it has finished downloading you can head over to your PC's downloads folder and just find the setup exe in there so just double click on it and we can now install the emulator so just click on next for the setup now it's just going to start installing. This is where you will choose the installation folder. I'm just going to leave it as default and just click next. Now you want to make sure Citra Nightly is ticked and clicked next. Make sure you accept the license and click next again. Next again. And now you can click install. So now it's just going to install. It's a very lightweight program as well. And now once it's finished, you can just click on the finish button. Now the other thing I've got here is a 3DS ROM to run on the Citra emulator. This is Yoshi's New Island and it's actually decrypted. If your 3DS ROM is not decrypted, then it won't work. I will probably make that tomorrow's video on how to decrypt them because for this video, I just want to show you how to set up the emulator and get it working. So yeah, you must have a 3DS ROM and it must end in .3DS. You can always go on properties just to check it does. It's entirely up to you where you get this from and you can actually back up your 3DS cartridges on your 3DS and convert them into ROMs and then run them with the Citra emulator. But anyway, let me show you with the ROM I've already got. So just go to your taskbar and just type in Citra. And now you just want to open up the Citra Nightly one. So the emulator should look fairly blank like this and it's actually very simple and um, a lot of people expect this emulator to be quite complicated but you can actually run 3DS games really easily and there's no you know special setup for each ROM or anything like that. So basically on the file tab we've got some few things here. We've got load file. This is where you can just load a 3DS ROM from any file possible. We've got install CIA. This is where you can install your CIA 3DS games. We've got recent files. This will come up with recent games that you have played. You can also just clear that if you don't want to show it. And then we've also got exit. This will just close down the emulator. Next on the emulation tab, this all makes sense while the game is actually running. But we've got start, pause, stop, restart and configure. This is where you can edit stuff about the game like the system and the graphics. You can up the graphics and you can also edit the controls. So just take a look at the controls right here. Uh, this is set up for keyboard and mouse right now. So you can see that A um, is A on your keyboard and then B will be S on your keyboard. And you guys can just learn all the controls on here. So you can just click on OK. Next on the view tab, we've got full screen single uh, window mode screen layout i will show you this once the emulator is running we've also got display don't i would probably wouldn't worry about these things down here and we've also got debugging again you probably won't really need to use this next we've got movie uh, you can actually record movies and play movies with this so you can like record the gameplay and then there's also multiplayer which i probably won't be covering this video and then there's also a help section so now let me show you how to run the game so you'd go to file and just go on load file right here now you need to find your 3ds game um, if it's a cia you can actually install it but i'm just going to open this so just click on it and just click on open now the game is just going to load up maybe just give it around 30 seconds just to start up and the game should actually play fairly decent so my pc isn't even that good but as you can see right now it's at 60 fps and um, speed is probably around 80 to 100 percent out of 100 uh, which is really good i will be showing you some gameplay as well probably not too much because it's a nintendo game but i will be showing you some anyway so yeah make sure you check out the options down here just to see how your game is running so now let me show you the view tab. So you can actually go down to screen layout and you can completely customize it. So we've got single screen, that will just do the top screen. We have also got large screen, 
this one's quite cool because it does still show a mini screen down here. And then we have also got side by side. So this one is also pretty cool. Personally, I actually prefer large screen. You can then go to view and go to full screen and it will full screen like this. So let me just press A on my keyboard and now I can actually use the arrow keys. So let's go on world one, select this file, uh, story mode. So now let's just try out some quick gameplay. No, this does have full working sound as well. Unfortunately, I will have to mute the sound because as you know, Nintendo sounds are very much copyrighted. But yep, this is fully playable um, with mouse and keyboard. I'm literally just using my arrow keys and pressing A for A and S for B. So yeah, pretty cool. You can run the Pokemon games as well. Um, I don't really want to show too much gameplay of this just because I don't want like a Nintendo copyright strike or anything like that. But yeah, you guys get the idea. Um, the games run pretty well. So once you've finished playing the game, you can actually just press the escape key on your keyboard. Now you can go to emulation and you can just go to pause. So you can either pause it or you can completely stop it. It's entirely up to you. And now if you wish to completely quit the game, you just go to emulation and you can just go to stop. Now this is just going to bring you back to the main menu of Citrus. So I would say this is kind of similar to the Dolphin emulator. Um, so yeah, it's actually pretty cool. Now there's another thing you can do. You can also add new game directories. Now basically what this does is allow you to create a ROMs folder. So what you can do in your downloads folder or wherever you want on your desktop or your documents, you want to create a new folder and you can call this anything you want. I'm going to call mine just 3DS ROMs. Now in the 3DS ROMs folder, obviously you just drag in all your ROMs. I'm just going to put this Zelda one in here just for this video. And as you can see, it's now in there. Now back into the emulator, you'd click on this one to add a directory and it's going to let you select a file folder. So in my downloads folder, let's choose 3DS ROMs and then click select folder. And as you can see, it's going to come up with my Zelda game. Now I can't remember if this one actually lets me play. I think this one might be encrypted. Um, let's just try it anyway. Yeah, so there you go, this one is encrypted. So I will show you on my next video how to decrypt your games, um, you know, so you can play them. Um, but you can also dump your cartridges using your 3DS as well, and they will already be um, decrypted for you. So that is pretty much it for this video. Just a really quick tutorial on how to set up the Citra emulator. A lot of them are really long on YouTube, like 30 minutes long. I didn't really understand why because I think it's pretty simple. But anyway, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next one.